welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us again. So if you are a subscriber to the channel, you already know that we got everything for our short block assembly off to the machine shop now. Uh, so we're waiting on that 414 small block Mopar to come back and then we can do the top end and chuck it on the dyno before it goes back in the car and we can go racing. But with that short block assembly all the way, we can start looking at some other stuff. So one thing I definitely need to do is do some porting on my intake manifold. I'm currently running an Edelbrock Super Victor intake for a small block Mopar, of course. And today we're gonna to be doing a simple gasket match port job. I'm not gonna go crazy on this thing as I am not a professional porter, but I do have a little bit of experience with the die grinder as I use them constantly at work all the time. And I've watched a couple YouTube videos on porting, so I think I got a pretty good handle on it. Let's take a look at this intake because I actually have two of them and uh, we're gonna port the older style, not the newer style. So I'll show you the difference between the two of them. If you buy a brand new one, what you'll get. If you get one off eBay like I did, you'll get the other older style. So let's take a look at those guys and then we'll look at how we're gonna do this gasket port job. Okay, so here is my small block Mopar Super Victor intake. I bought this brand new from Summit Racing two years ago uh, and it was on my Mopar 360 that we made 530 horsepower on running that engine for the last two years. This is completely unported. I did not touch it. I literally got it and then it went directly onto the engine, onto the dyno, and then it never came off until we wrecked that motor and then started the new build. So I'll show you something pretty cool because this, uh, these are the gaskets we were running. It's the Felpros. This is what everybody runs. And because we put this on and never moved it or took it off or anything, you can see that the gaskets actually left a perfect indentation of where the gaskets were sitting. So you can see how much more room there is to port these intakes. Uh, when I first got this intake, people reached out to me and they're like, you can port those things like crazy. And I was like, yeah, that'd be awesome. But I certainly did not have time as we were heading to the dyno that day. And I know that these Felpro gaskets were great on the trick flow heads. Here are my trick flow 190 CNC ported heads. And you can see that's the same gasket there. And it is a perfect fit. Like it doesn't get any better. Those are CNC ported. So that gasket was made to fit that and uh, it's an excellent fit. So that neoprene is what you're seeing indentated onto that intake manifold. So now you might be saying, well, why would you not just port this intake out? Because it's already even laid out for you. You know what the fit was exactly on the head. Well, because that one's completely unported, bringing us to this intake manifold. This is another Super Victor intake I got off of eBay. Now you're probably like, why do you have two of them? Well, when I went to go buy that one, there was on back order. I found this one on eBay. I was heading to the dyno and I basically just bought them both and had them race to me to get onto the dyno. So again, you're probably like, well, why don't you just port this guy and leave this one? Well, I was told this was unported and the ports themselves do not look touched. In fact, I did some comparison and they look totally stock unported as advertised. But if you look in the upper plenum, Somebody has definitely gone in there and used a chainsaw to do some massaging in the upper plenum area where you can see a completely stock one is smooth and round and this one is not. So this is the intake that I'm going to do the port job on and I actually think this is a little bit cleaner of an intake. Um, just the way it looks overall you can see that this guy here has the bosses for fuel injection. I imagine that's why Edelbrock switched over and now you can only get this model. So this guy doesn't have that. This one here also has an extra spot for like a temperature sensor or something. This one does not. Other than that, they are completely the same. So I just think that this intake looks a little bit cleaner. So this is the one we're gonna use and it's already been ported a little. So might as well port this one, leave that one completely stuck. No, it is not for sale. I will trade for a trick flow single plane though. So if anybody's got one and they wanna do a swap, let me know. So let's port this guy. So now we can start using our gasket to lay it out. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna transfer the roof and the floor of the ports. I'm actually not gonna touch the roof or the floor because I'm not exactly sure where the intake is gonna sit. The deck of the block is getting machined again, so it might move a little bit. And the last thing that I wanna do is have a situation where the, uh, intake port on the intake manifold is creating um, a bad transition into the head. So if the intake was sitting like this and the head was like this, it creates a wall and that air would hit the wall and that's no good for horsepower. So all we're gonna be doing is widening these guys because I know 
based on that intake and the gasket fit on the heads where the width is, but the height may change a little. So just gonna transfer this line straight across on the top and the bottom and then not touch it. slightly uneven so like might just touch that a little bit when I go to do the port I'll I'll uh, basically leave the line is where I, where I'm gonna work to okay so now we can go ahead and press our gasket on a couple oversized bolts there okay gasket is in position now with some nuts and bolts and I can just transfer this line you can see that the gasket showing it above but like I was talking about earlier I'm not gonna touch the uh, roof or the floor just going for width okay I'll pull that gasket off see what we got okay so there you can see our layout now there's a ton of material to be taken out of here this is this here is like an eighth of material right in there they weren't perfectly centered so center them up widen them and uh make some more horsepower okay with both sides laid out now what i'm going to do on the inside here is uh most guys when they talk about the plenum area they just talk about line of sight making sure that the carburetor has a good sight directly to the cylinder head so simply cleaning this area up and rolling that down into the ports is uh, where my main focus is gonna be. I'll take off some casting flash as well. I'm not gonna go crazy up here, uh, but just basically clean up what they did and then try to pull some material out and make a good uh, trajectory right into the cylinder head. You can see on the stock ones how much it bulbs out. So this would, like I literally put the carburetor on here and through the butterfly you could see these areas. So I imagine that's why they did that, um, but we can definitely do a lot better than that. So let's get off to the shop now and we can start making some chips. Okay, so in at my work now, got my piece all secured to the table. We're all laid out, got my carbide burr uh, ready to go here. So I thought I'd show you a little bit of the technique I'm gonna use because you don't just wanna go in there and just start hogging out material without any real plan. You wanna make sure that you go in nice and straight. You don't just wanna put like a 45 to bring it out to the line. And you want to go in about an inch and a half or two inches as further into the port you can go the better and obviously the more material we can take out it's just uh, going to increase that airflow i'll show you this little diagram my crude drawing here this is our current port kind of design a nice radius so even though we're going to make it wider like this guy here we don't just want to go straight in but we want to go straight in and then start working that radius as well to keep more of this shape this is going to have better flow this might have more volume, but a worse flow. So it's really a combination of the both. So we're gonna go in and then into the radius, nice flow pattern. Okay, so nothing left to do, but uh, start making some chips. Let's go. Got that first port roughed out there, got it out to my line, brought the line, uh, brought the grind in quite a good ways here. Got into the turn on this guy. I really like how this one's coming out right into that turn. And then after I'll go back and I'll clean them all up with one of these guys, just to smooth them out a little bit. Um, not sure the complete finish what we're gonna leave on it, but that's looking at like a real good start so far. So let's keep going. Okay, so here's one side roughed out. I'm pretty happy with how it's all turned out. Uh, really working to get in and around those corners nice and smooth. And I took a ton of material out of this thing. This is just a little bit of like weird casting stuff. I'm gonna clean that up too. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to this guy now though and just kind of smooth out my uh, die grinder marks and just make that totally smooth everywhere I can. But man, we took a lot of material out of this thing. So, on to the next step. Okay, so this one side is done. Using this guy was a total champ. I could get way inside and really work this short turn radius in here. Look at that, you can see all the way up in the upper plenum now. Ton of material out, smoothed it all out with this guy. Uh, it was great for this kind of corner too because this was almost a straight uh, section right here. 
So I could really run it in like this and just blend that area. That is way better than it was before. Uh, I am gonna surface this face off and clean it up a little bit because it got a little banged up and it was a little banged up before, but I'm much more happy with that. That looks great. One more side to do now and then we can look at the top. Look how much material we took out of here. Oh, that's wild. That's all airflow. Okay, so two sides quartered out. Now we'll do a little sanity check here and just check that out. So that's 10 times better than where it was before. Uh, we've opened those things up massive, took a ton of material out of there, so I'm pretty happy with those. So upper plenum, just like we talked about, we're just gonna dig these guys down right around the carburetor flange and direct air into the runners, make a nice transition there and then just keep clean up some of the uh, casting flash you can see in there. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna go too crazy on this upper plenum well. That turned into a lie because I got in there and the more I took away, the more I could see better results. So I cleaned out all this material here. I rolled everything down inside. I got rid of the flashing on the bottom. I didn't take anything out of like the dividers. A lot of guys knife edge those, but I've seen mixed results with that. But I took a ton of material out. Like we're gonna do a comparison. Like look at the drop down now. We'll do a comparison on a stock one after. But these transitions, I'm really happy. It doesn't look that great on video, actually, now looking at it, but look here. Yeah, there you go. I took a ton of material out of there, rolled these all through. I am really happy with how that top turned out. And again, I'm gonna sandblast everything so it has a uniform finish on it. Um, but you can see down in there, there's even some casting flash. I tried to get rid of as much as I could. Very happy with that top plenum. This thing is gonna be way better, pretty stoked. Okay, let's get home and compare it to the stock unit. Just look at how much material I've taken out of this intake. It's actually crazy how much stuff came out of it. If anything, I made it lighter. So, so here we have the overhead shot of the stock one and then take a look at the ported one. So much more room, so much more flow. Looking at the two of them compared side by side like this, I'm just even more stoked. You see how bulbous this is? It comes way out here. So this is all what I took out and uh, that upper plenum area is great. We know that the port job is gonna be awesome too. So really stoked to get this thing back on the motor. So that's gonna close out this video, guys. Thanks again for watching. The next time that you see that intake will be up on the stroker motor, up on the dyno, making some serious power poles. So stay tuned for that. Thanks again. See you guys next time.